What up internet, how are your faces? Happy 4th. Show us your booze because respect women. We're just chilling here at the parade. You can probably hear the core practicing like somewhere over in the distance over there. Yeah, we're at the parade site, Ashland, Oregon. Just chilling, hanging, vibing, doing the thing. I'm really excited actually for this because I've heard that this parade is pretty, pretty legit. Don't think it's gonna top Bristol because Bristol is still like, like the best parade I've ever been involved in, um, Bristol, Rhode Island. Um, but yeah, no, this should be, this should be good. I'm excited. Like I saw a lot of spirit in town yesterday when we were driving around for the show. Um, and yeah, this should be a good time. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's just gonna be a chill day. We, 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 uh, the pit was originally supposed to rehearse today, but the kids really, really, really want to go to the parade. So surprise, they're here, which good for them. Good for them for wanting to be actively involved or whatever. So cool, awesome, good job. All right, um, everyone else is currently planning what we're going to do during the parade. Um, because you know, as hit and visual staff, like let's just say our presence isn't exactly like required at this or whatever. Just trying to find coffee shops, just walk around town, anything we could do or whatever. We're not looking to get crazy. We just want to explore a little bit. Um, I will let you in on what happens with all of that. So yeah, I see them moving. They're probably gonna like officially start warming up soon or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I just gotta make sure the kids know what the hell they're doing. My, my kids at least, with water bottles. And yeah, just go have a good time. <laughs> on such principles and organizing its powers in such form that most likely to effect their safety and happiness. Mm -hmm. these different flavors of M&M's existed. Never heard of them before. Who are they? Who is she? What is that? Why is Mexican jalapeno peanut M&M a thing? Explain. I'm confusion. There we go. Oh, cool. the next day keeping this going for one more day um, because there wasn't a whole lot of footage yesterday and because I can today so the last thing you saw was um well the fireworks show here in uh, um, Mount Angel Oregon something like that we're right outside Portland like first of all like at the school like that's where we're sleeping or whatever and the fires were right over there or whatever so if anything we just got lucky fate was fun or whatever and they were starting like right after we pulled up so so yeah we just have to go watch the show and now here we are today there's a show tonight um, in Portland it is also my last day on tour 
or whatever. Um, yeah, flying out tonight from, from Seattle after the show. Um, so yeah, basically this was both a 4th of July vlog and then a one last day with all of them vlog or whatever. Because I'm planning on being in like for San Antonio day, but I don't know about any point that week yet or whatever. So we're going to do that and we're going to have some fun. Vlog starts soon. So uh, let's do it, I guess. <laughs> So surprise, I'm actually in Portland right now. Um, turns out they weren't quite able to figure out the logistics to get me to Seattle tonight. Would have been a little too close to like the show or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I actually left this morning with a whole bunch of people or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was able to get some lunch at this cafe behind me, which peeped that pride flag. That was exactly why I went there or whatever. And yeah, now I'm just waiting on a bus. My another person on staff was flying out of Portland. Um, I can only assume he's already left or whatever. So what happened was I also got drove to Portland and then because my flight's out of Seattle, because it's where I thought, you know, we were gonna be able to travel, um, I was bought a bus ticket up to there. And then I have a couple hours there to hang out before I get on a flight and go home. So yeah, that's fun. That's neat, that's cool, that's whatever. Um, yeah, just grab some lunch. Didn't really have much time to do much else, so yeah. We just gonna wait for that bus and have some fun. So, made it to Seattle, as you can probably tell, they dropped me off in Chinatown. I guess that's where the stop for both bus is. Um, yeah, cool. So, I literally have like hours before I even need to like go to the airport to check in. So, I'm just gonna walk around, kind of see what's up, what's what. Maybe just have a little fun along the way. I'm trying to see if there's maybe, I'm here at Union Station right now. I think I'm going to go in and see if maybe there's a place for me to like drop this bag off or whatever because I really don't feel like carrying this all over goddamn town. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do that and then just find a place to finally actually use the bathroom because I didn't get a chance to before. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll just explore the city. Like, I don't know what's here. I don't know what's cool. I just walk around. Again, I have literal hours before I need to do anything. So, uh, yeah. We're just gonna see what's up. So I think I'm shit out of luck on finding a place to keep this. Um, yeah, I went to the, the Amtrak station or whatever and it turns out they only have it for ticket holders, which I am definitely not. But yeah, nothing else is really even close enough considering the time frame I have to be worth going and dropping it off. So I guess I'm not really going to be doing that much exploring after all because I'm not freaking carrying this around the, the entire goddamn city. Whatever. I'll, I can always come back later or, or whatever to get like a full exploration of the city. But for now, I'm just going to check out downtown where I can find some place to sit that will let me like have this or whatever. Um, and yeah, we just go and be out here living and hopefully I can finally find a view at some point good enough to actually get a pick up the space needle or something because uh, I cannot, I have not seen it yet from where I am. I'd like to be able to. So, uh, we'll see what happens there. So right now I'm in the middle of, uh, I guess their downtown area, um, Pioneer Square or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of walking around. This seems cool. This seems chill. Um, yeah, just trying to get something to eat. Um, because, you know, it's roughly like dinner time or whatever. Um, and I don't really want to eat, uh, airport food. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far it's been tough to find a place that's not like super expensive, but uh, I'm sure I'll find one soon. I'm sure I'll make it happen. Uh, I'll try to catch anything cool if I Okay, never mind. I think I just found like the Pioneer Square. Like, holy crap, this is nice. Um, if a little questionable on some of the statue choices. Um, yeah, this is lit. 
I might just chill here for a bit. We got a, like a ping pong tournament or something going on over there. Like, this is lit. Glad I started walking, I guess. So I ended up just going to the Mod Pizza here in Pioneer Square because it's relatively, well, was relatively cheap, more on that in a second. Um, and yeah, it just lets me stick around out here. It's something I know. I don't have to really like search that much. I can just get something that I know I'll like and then just keep exploring the city. Um, now, backtracking to why I said that, you know, like it's mostly cheap or whatever. Saw this, had to have it. Um, just like opened it, haven't drank it yet, and I'm, gonna hope that it's good because this added seven dollars to my bill so I ended up paying like 20 bucks for this so uh hope it's good thank god it turns out it is <laughs> all right I'm gonna get to eating this now because I'm hungry as f see you in a sec So it's starting to get a little late, and I'm starting to think I'm not going to be able to see the Space Needle, um, because, you know, I really should get to the airport soon, um, and I'm still, like, downtown in Pioneer Square. It's fine. It's whatever. And again, it's not like it's going anywhere, and I'll be able to come back here eventually, or whatever. It's all good. It's all fine. So, decided to walk in the direction of the water to, you know, see just what was around here or whatever, and I don't see anything of note, but uh, there's a Ferris wheel back there, which I can only assume means that there's like some sort of pier or whatever. I actually really don't know what's in Seattle or whatever, um, but yeah, it looks fun. It's all lit up pretty or whatever. Still can't see a space needle, but I mean, whatever. It's probably on the other side of Seattle for all I know. Um, yeah, I'm starting to wish I'd walked over in that direction earlier this evening because I probably would have had time to go just like look around or whatever. Um, oh well, new when you learn. Definitely don't have time to walk over and check it out now. Um, but yeah. Oh well. Again, let me learn. And I'll remember that for when I eventually come back. Also, I somehow wandered to the point that I'm next to the stadium. Um, not entirely sure how that happened, but that actually means that I'm not too far from where I was dropped off, so I have a little bit more time than I thought. So maybe I'll just take my time, maybe find a way to sneak in there. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, looks cool, looks legit. I'm a CenturyLink field, so based on the, uh, the things, posters, posters that are up there, this is the football stadium, it looks like. Um, Please forgive me. I genuinely have no idea. I don't really care about like sports and stuff or whatever. So, um, so yeah. So, surprise, it's actually the next day. Um, not long after that last video, I hopped in the Uber, went to the airport, and then just kind of like forgot to record anything and then flew back and was driven back this morning uh, by my wonderful landlord. Um, and yeah, it is, <laughs> yeah, it was an overnight flight, essentially, um, from Seattle to Houston, so I am, I got a little bit of sleep, but I'm really freaking exhausted, so, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get into that bed right there, and I am going to pass the F out. I'm sorry I didn't get any more footage after that, but I hope you enjoy my random ass trip to, to Portland and Seattle. Um, hopefully you saw some fun stuff, um. And, and got to enjoy a little bit with me or whatever. I did, I had a good time. Maybe didn't see as much as I wanted to, but like, it's it's cool, it's fine. I'll, it, it's not it's going anywhere. <laughs> um, cool, so yeah, so I'm really tired. I'll pick this back up whenever I feel like it. But yeah, right now I'm just really tired. It's a day after tour, day after an overnight flight. So yeah, just gonna, just gonna pop on over there for, for just a little bit. All right, until next time, can't see it.